I am worthy to see that awesome teaser trailer. A long awaited teaser trailer to Thor Love and Thunder. What's up guys, Timster here reacting to this pretty cool and awesome teaser trailer for the fourth film in the Thor film franchise, Thor Love and Thunder, directed once again by Thor Ragnarok director Taika Waititi, who also voices Korg, and bringing back Chris Hemsworth as the God of Thunder, no longer bro Thor, and he's back in shape, and riding alongside the Guardians of the Galaxy, or the Guardians... Uh, being nicknamed by Thor as the as Guardians of the Galaxy back together again at the end of Avengers Endgame. Well, Thor is galaxy surfing and going on adventures, uh, abdicating the throne of Asgard to Valkyrie, or King Valkyrie. And uh, Mjolnir gets repaired in this movie and goes to his former flame, Jane Foster, who makes her MCU debut as the Mighty Thor. A.K. Jane now has the God of Thunder's powers and wielding a repaired Mjolnir while Thor, Odin's son, still wields Stormbreaker. So it'll be interesting to see these two together as we saw in the trailer. Pretty interesting. I have some screenshots here. There's Natalie Portman all decked out and ripped in her Thor costume. And here is... Uh, Crims Hemsworth in his uh, Guardians of the Galaxy outfit or Ravager outfit alongside Taika Waititi's fan favorite role as Korg. So I can't wait to see these guys back in action. It's going to be happening this July, two months after the release of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, which as of this recording, uh, we're going to be getting in a couple of weeks and I can't wait for that. Uh, it's Marvel Overload. This April, I mean, we're getting Moon Knight, the TV series, and then in a couple of weeks, we're going to be exploring more of the multiverse with Sam Raimi, the director of the Spider-Man trilogy, taking the helm and guiding Benedict Cumberbatch as Stephen Strange alongside the returning Elizabeth Olsen as the Scarlet Witch, Wanda Maximoff, as they explore the dangers and unpredictability of the Marvel multiverse. Can't wait for that. But yeah, this trailer. I'll put the link at the description box below. Oh, wow. I mean, uh, Hasbro Pulse is already gearing up for the release of their Thor Love and Thunder figures, which were leaked the past week before Easter. Yeah, it went online and, uh, and it started uh, going to shops uh, overseas. So they had no choice but to reveal it prematurely before the fan first event, which will be held in a couple of hours and then there was a video revealing a new one is to one black series Mjolnir uh, the repaired Mjolnir it was shattered by Hela and Thor Ragnarok and it gets repaired mysteriously and comes under the ownership of Jane Foster yes Foster that's her nickname in all new all different Marvel she'll be the new God of Thunder and we're getting the Marvel Cinematic Universe version in this movie. There she is. I can't wait. Totally excited. We're also going to be seeing the Guardians again, of course. Uh, Chris Pratt back as Star-Lord. And then Dave Bautista as Drax. Then a Rocket, Groot, so on and so forth. As they travel the realms along with their new member, Thor. And who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? We need to see the movie. And Christian Bale of the Dark Knight Trilogy, Batman himself, is going to be playing the villain. Yeah. So much to be excited about this mid-2022. Yeah, we're going to be getting more Thor yeah. and his adventures. Can't wait, can't wait. So it's great to be back and doing this reaction video. is long overdue. Something like this. Again, a new video for that matter. I'll be back with more stuff in the future, but I just wanted to present my hype for Thor Love and Thunder coming out this July. Can't wait. Marvel, keep on bringing those exciting comic book and superhero content. And we just had a fantastic year with, uh, at the end of December, it was Spider-Man No Way Home. 
And then uh, March, we got The Batman, which is earning <laughs> more than $750 million worldwide in the box office. Then we're going to be getting Doctor Strange. And then Thor. So, can't wait. 